in a class of 40 students 60 percent are girls however 25 percent wear glasses now they want me to tell them how many girls wear glasses how do we work out this welcome back to learning with the pastlies if it's your first time watching this channel feel free to subscribe and share our content today we are going to do some csec math multiple choice pass paper questions are you ready to pass your cxc math let us do these multiple choice the first one the number 3.14063 written correct to three decimal places is so we have a b c and d to choose what we are going to do here let me rewrite the problem so three point one four zero six they say that they want three decimal places so i'm going to just draw a line right here so i am not going to use these numbers so one two three since i am not going to use this six i am going to fling away this six and bring one over here so now i can write three point one four one ends b is the answer in scientific notation one seven zero point zero four is written as scientific notation is the same thing as standard form so we are going to write this number in standard form you see that one seven zero point zero four we need to write this into standard form so what i'm going to rewrite the number here so one seven zero point zero four you see that what i am going to do now is to move this decimal point two places on the left so one two no i can write 1.7004 zero, zero, times 10 since we move the decimal point two places on the left our answer the power should be two positive two hence our answer is b this is how we write number this is how we write a number in standard form are this there are 40 students in a class girls make up 60 percent of the class 25 percent of the girls wear glasses how many girls in the class wear glasses they are saying that in a class of 40 students 60 percent are girls however 25 percent wear glasses now they want me to tell them how many girls wear glasses how do we work out this first we need to find out the total numbers of girls in the class or to do that since we know that percent is marked out of a hundred i'm going to write 60 over 100 because we need to find out the total numbers of girls in the class so no no this should be times 40 because 40 students are in the class you see that now let us calculate this zero cancel this zero this zero cancel this zero equal no six times four is 24 hence 24 24 girls are in the class now that we know that 24 girls are in the class 
we need to find out how many girls wear glasses how to do that all right 25 over 100 so we need to find out so they are saying that 25 percent girls wear glasses therefore 25 over 100 is the same thing as 25 percent times how many girls in the class 24 you see that 25 into itself goes one time 25 into 100 goes four times four into itself goes one time four into 24 goes six times dear six times therefore B is our answer no I can tell you six girls in the class wear glasses therefore b is our answer let us do another problem all right by the distributive law 49 times 17 plus 49 times 3 equal so these are the choice a b c and d to choose from so since we know distributive law I am going to write 49 in bracket I'm going to write 17 plus 3 you see that 49 in bracket 17 plus 3 because distributive law we normally use the number outside to multiply all the numbers inside so let us work out this problem a quick way to work out this problem is to add the numbers in the bracket so 17 plus 3 is 20 right times 49 so 49 times 20 is our answer hence d is the answer very easy right so this is distributive law let us do this one the number 301 can be written as what i'm going to do here is to work out a the choice a because i want to find out if if when i work out a I am going to get the same number here so let us work out a so three all right in bracket we have 10 times 10 so we're basically squaring this 10 here 10 square is basically 10 times 10 plus and if you ask me why i didn't write the multiplication sign down here i will tell you because i have a three here on the bracket here this is telling us that we should multiply so let us work out what is in the bracket first 10 times 10 is 100 so it should be 3 times 100 plus 1 3 times 100 plus 1 equal 301. Therefore, A is our answer. So A is the correct answer. Therefore, I don't have to go any further. Let's work out this one. Here we have 4 over 5x plus 2 over 5x. What is the answer? Here is the given 4 over 5x plus 2 over 5x. What do you notice? The denominators are the same. Here is a faster way to solve this problem. Since the denominators are the same, you could just write back 5x. Then you add these two numbers. 4 plus 2 is 6. This is the faster way therefore d is our answer so this is the faster way the denominators are the same so you just write back 5x here thank you for watching our channel please remember to like subscribe and share our content